The Saga of the Cosmic Throne Valtor and the Dragonflies of Green World Valtor the Interdimensional Inquisitor, a formidable being with unparalleled powers, had been tasked with the duty of maintaining balance across the multiverse. He traveled through dimensions, investigating and resolving conflicts that threatened the harmony of existence. One day, he received a distress signal from a star being named Bechti, who resided in the Iridanus galaxy, 75 million light years from Earth on a planet called Green World. Bechti, a wise and ancient being, had witnessed a frightening epoch of the reptilian humanoid race known as Kheb. According to Bechti's account, the Kheb race had evolved billions of years ago, possibly from dragonflies or from another dimension, and had formed a powerful empire known as the Sh Empire in the ninth sector of the galaxy, the Sikar Empire. The Sh Empire led by the feared Aryan queens, also known as Sh'ti or Nech'ti queens, was known for its ruthless conquest and domination of other worlds. The queen mother, known as Queen Bee, and her younger sitting queen, Queen Aya, ruled with an iron fist, The seven chosen daughters of the queen, known as the Sistiji, were fearsome princesses, known as Sistir, the divine queen, or Kar, was the supreme ruler of the empire. Valtor listened intently as Bechti revealed the dark secrets of the Sist empire. The reptilian species reproduced by laying eggs and fertilized eggs became females, while unfertilized eggs became males. The Sakh reptilian administrators who conquered other worlds enforced the rule of the Sis Empire, the Sikar, with deadly force. The reptilian people of Po or other worlds were known as the Sis B. Valtor listened intently as Bechti revealed the dark secrets of the S Empire. The reptilian species reproduced by laying eggs, and fertilized eggs became females, with unfertilized eggs becoming males. The Sakh reptilian administrators who conquered other worlds enforced the rule of the Sis Empire with deadly force. The reptilian people of home or other worlds were known as the Sis B. However, Bechti's distress signal was not merely about the reptilian race's existence. He revealed that the Sis Empire had found a way to harness interdimensional travel and had been infiltrating other dimensions, including Earth, in the 1960s. The Sis B had been secretly manipulating events and influencing the course of history spreading fear and chaos in their wake. Valtor, realizing the magnitude of the threat, set out to confront the Sis Empire. He traveled to Green World, where he encountered the fearsome Aryan queens and their elite warriors, the Mach. Valtor engaged in epic battles, using his incredible powers to thwart the Sis Empire, their schemes, and protect the multiverse from their tyranny. As Valtor delved deeper into the heart of the S Empire, he uncovered their insidious plans to conquer not only Earth, but also other dimensions and universes. He fought against overwhelming odds, facing treacherous traps and powerful adversaries. The history of man and Earth presented by the Bechti in the 1960s was indeed both exciting and frightening as Valtor uncovered the truth behind the empire's nefarious activities.
With Bechti's guidance, Valtor discovered the Empire interdimensional portals and closed them one by one, severing their access to other worlds in the process. He rallied allies from across the multiverse, including resistance fighters from the conquered world, to join him in the battle against the S Empire. Together, they fought against the Sach and the Sis B, freeing worlds from their grip and undoing the damage they had caused. Valtor finally confronted the Ariane Queens in, the, in an epic showdown. The battle raged across the galaxies with Valtor unleashing his full power to defeat the formidable reptilian rulers. In a climactic final battle, Valtor emerged victorious, banishing the Ariane Queens and their mighty warriors, and ultimately was forced to engage in a fierce battle with Queen Bee herself. The battle raged on, with Valtor utilizing his interdimensional powers and strategic prowess to counter the strength and ferocity of the S warriors. The clash of powers and wills shook the very foundations of Green World, as Valtor fought with all his might to bring justice to the oppressed beings under the S Empire's rule. During the battle, Vecti, who had been providing Valtor with guidance and assistance, revealed ancient knowledge about the true nature of the Keb race. He uncovered that the Keb reptilian race had once been peaceful and harmonious, but they had succumbed to the temptations of power and domination, which had corrupted them over time. Valtor used this revelation to appeal to the inner sense of honor and nobility within Queen Bee and her daughters. He spoke passionately about the destructive path the empire had taken, and how they had deviated from their true nature. Moved by Valtor's words, some of the S warriors, and even Queen Aya, the youngest sitting queen, began to question their actions and motives. This momentary hesitation gave Valtor an opportunity to make a powerful final move. He combined his interdimensional powers with Bekti's ancient wisdom to create a portal that would seal the S Empire within a separate dimension, isolating them from the rest of the galaxies. Queen Bee, realizing the futility of her conquest, finally relented and stepped through the portal along with her remaining loyal warriors. As the portal closed, Valtor and Bekti watched the S Empire disappear into the unknown dimension bringing an end to their tyranny. Green World and other worlds that had been under their rule were freed, and the oppressed beings rejoiced with newfound freedom and hope. Valtor, with his mission accomplished, bid farewell to Bakhti and returned to his interdimensional travels, continuing his pursuit of justice across the galaxies. The story of Valtor, the interdimensional inquisitor, and the history of the Keb reptilian race, as revealed by Pekti in the 1960s, spread far and wide, becoming a legend of courage, wisdom, and the enduring power of truth and justice. And the Keb reptilian race, once feared and formidable, learned from their past mistakes and embarked on a journey of self reflection and redemption, seeking to rebuild their civilization on the principles of peace harmony, and mutual respect for all beings in the universe. Namaste. Namaskaram.